this video, we cover the concept of wing loading, how it affects the canopy palleting, and downsizing tips and tricks. This channel is designed to provide useful information about skydiving. That being said, whatever information you find about skydiving on the internet, including on this channel, should always be discussed and counter-verified with a certified instructor from your skydiving association, your drop zone, and or a rigger. Let's all be wiser and safer skydivers. Hey there, this is Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become a better and safer skydiver. So if you're new here, consider subscribing not to miss our tips and trick videos about skydiving, just like this one. So once you have your solo certificate, you may start to think about experimenting different size of canopies. This is generally encouraged, but remember that experimenting with different size of canopies has put many experienced people in hospitals. It is important to always choose a canopy that is within your ability to fly. And before downsizing, make sure you fully master the canopy that you're currently flying. And this is when you must be very honest with yourself. First, let's talk about the wing loading, because whenever we talk about downsizing, meaning reducing the size of our canopies, we are in fact increasing our wing load on those canopies. So the wing loading is actually a ratio that is obtained by dividing the weight of the skydiver fully geared on the area of the canopy in square foot. So depending on the ratio you obtain, it will have an impact on the canopy you are flying. And so the goal of downsizing is to actually increase that wing load. As the newcomers are starting in the sport, usually the wing loading that they are jumping with is way below one, meaning that they have a really big canopy for their weight. All the canopy manufacturers are recommending some wing loading with their canopy, and so we can find those recommendations whether on the manufacturer's website or in the canopy owner's manual. So why would you want to increase your wing load or downsize? So more precisely, with a higher wing load, you can expect faster forward speed, faster descent rate, quicker turns, steeper and longer dive from a turn, because you will increase your performance in high winds, in turbulent conditions. Yes, higher wing loadings are just fun. And it can allow you to have a smaller canopy that can fit in a smaller and more comfortable container. Now, why would you not want to increase your wing load or downsize? You will then have smaller margin for errors, faster landings, less time to deal with conflicting traffic, less time to look for a plan B when you need one, and the previously correctable malfunctions that you can think of, whether line twists or something like that, well, you'll have less time to deal with those, and those low-speed malfunctions can now become high-speed malfunctions. So before downsizing, you want to ask yourself those questions. Can you consistently fly and land your canopy within a 10 to 20 meter radius from your target? Can you consistently land standing up? And can you achieve the same results in varying wind conditions? But the main question you should ask yourself, why do you want to downsize? If your goal is to get a sport canopy that is out of the student range, but for your weight and skills, that's understandable. However, if the urge of going to a smaller canopy is just to increase your landing performance, well, you got to remember that a good swoop is the result of good piloting and years of experience, not only a smaller canopy. Learning to get as much performance from your current canopy before downsizing will make you a way better and intact canopy pilot in the long run. So now, if you still want to downsize, let's give you some tips and tricks to do it the proper way. If we were to set a general rule of thumb for downsizing, it would be to only downsize one size at a time. This will allow for bigger difference in between bigger canopies, but smaller difference in smaller canopies. If you want to change from a square canopy to an elliptical canopy, well, you want to keep the same square footage. The reason is that the elliptical canopy is way more responsive than a square one at the same size. It will turn faster and it will lose more altitude during the turn. And the elliptical canopies will create more lift during a flare. 
And you need to consider that increasing your wing loading is not the only consideration when you're downsizing. Like I said, the type of canopy will have an impact as well. And a one-on-one -on -one wing load on a 210 square foot canopy will not have the same impact than a one-on-one -on -one ratio on a 120 square foot canopy. The smaller canopies will always be faster and more responsive because they have less cord length and less tissue and so they create less drag. A wing loading of more than 1.2 is considered a high performance canopy. And this is where the most accidents are occurring and downsizing too fast is the number one reason. So stay on your canopy the longest possible, do exercise and try new stuff with it so that you can really master it before considering to downsize. So yes, flying smaller canopy is a lot of fun and you'll hear a lot of people tell you that it's way more exciting. But downsizing can also be dangerous if not done correctly. So take your time, make sure to discuss with an experienced canopy pilot and or an instructor on your drop zone to have the proper briefing and advice to help you downsize and have fun on their canopy. All right, so I hope you've liked this video about wing loading and downsizing. I hope it helped you make a wiser decision when it will be time for you to downsize. And give it a thumbs up and share this video so that a fellow skydiver can have the proper advices and tips and tricks for them to downsize more safely. And let's all together avoid more accidents. Also consider subscribing not to miss our weekly videos all about skydiving. We do gear reviews, interviews, and tips and tricks videos just like this one. So on that, I tell you, stay safe, keep jumping, and blue skies. Well, you got to remember that a good swoop is the result of... Fudge, good paladin.